even get any video footage of this gorgeous KOA campsite? Uh, I confirmed it is the smallest KOA in the country. It was a parking spot for the night, by a train. But it was safe. Yep, and we made a memory. And now, we're driving to New Smyrna to look at boats. We're all unplugged, Dad? Yep. Sliders are in. Bell and I did a walk around, right, Bell? And away we go. The purpose of this trip is to look at boats. And we've been wanting to look at boats, and we're needing to look at boats, but we didn't know how to get down to Florida and be germ-free, right? Because there's a pandemic. Because there's a pandemic. So, and we didn't have anybody to leave the kids with, and we didn't want to fly, and we didn't want to pull them out. Anyway, logistically, it's been a challenge. However, since we're in virtual school, we figured we could rent an RV, stay germ-free-ish, um, way more germ-free than if we were staying at a hotel and going to restaurants and using public restrooms, and still see the boats and hopefully keep the kids in virtual school. That virtual school's been a challenge. <laughs> Always is. Always is. The intent and the work is there, it's just the technology is not working for us. Anyway, maybe tomorrow we'll do better. And then we're going to Disney. And as soon as we're done with Disney, we'll go straight home and we'll quarantine for 10 days before school starts again. And we will get a negative test before we return to school. We had a test before we came on the trip. So we're not infecting our boat broker, which is really the only person we're seeing. And then after Disney, we'll isolate again. So I feel like it's very responsible, although it is a little risky going to Disney. How do you feel? Disney gonna give you a panic attack? No, but the capacity that it's at is a plus and they're always germ like the cruise that we did. Disney's, Disney really works hard on germ mitigation. Yeah. So I trust Disney. We're outside. We're outside. We're not doing any indoor restaurants and we'll be able to isolate for 10 days prior to any other interaction. So I think it's a win-win. So that, that's Aquatica. So she's she's kind of shippy, Mark, and she's kind of yachty. And this one's under contract, but we're getting on to see if we like it to find another one. in St. Louis. Okay, let's go And what's check cool it about this one is a day head off of the... <laughs> you really like a day head. Okay. There's the back, love that. Looks big and fab. This is a great in-between. Boat lives back there. This is nice. I like that it has two anchors. Yeah, look at this. 
Dolphin watching. That's safe. I think she looks great. This is a great run around. Yep, you can enter from both sides. You can sit here. Or there's a cushion there. Okay, so engine room here. Two spare props. Rudders. This one has a deep freezer. Batteries. It's a good proper engine room here, I tell you. Oh, wow. Stainless steel water tank, hot water heater. Mm-hmm. If this one wasn't under contract, I would think about putting an offer in. It's good. So far, that's our favorite? Yep. Yep. Everybody says yep. It, Everybody gave it thumbs up. It, it's really hard. So you've got super salty, shippy chips, like the... Um, yesterday. Like yesterday, like the Hatteras. And what was the other one we were on? The Fever. The Celine. Or you've got too cheesy. There's nothing. Um, Showy, go to the Bahamas fast, come back, but don't live aboard. Like maybe there's strippers on board. Yeah, we're trying to find shippy, but not old salty dog. And slick, but not stripper. Yeah. So what we want is the boat that embodies us, but we'll do the loop. That one was the closest yet. Does that boat exist? With three staterooms. It's that a weird world, man. <laughs> okay. Fahala. That just sounds like trouble. It's a sort of a walk around, but not covered. This was turning on barely. There's a electrical issue there. But the bed is better. The closet situation is better. I like the shower better. The head is better. Um, toilets are new. You got storage here and a walk-in for you. All right, open that door. Ah! That's a legit closet. Oh. Washer dryer, nanny. And this looks easier. You just Build it. do plywood over that. And make a fun. Yeah. There's egress. We can easily get to them. We can hear them. This wood is prettier. Oh, this is nice. Look. The kitchen is smaller. The my bridge is smaller. Doesn't feel um, tiny. No, you gotta have, you're gonna have to fix this situation. Yeah. Something's up there. Discount. Okay, this is the Pama 54. It's got a sight glass, cameras. Got some sediment in there. Volvo Pintas. Okay guys, we're officially done looking at boats. Did we buy a boat? Did we find the perfect boat? Almost. Did we find out what we don't want? Yes. yes. Did we find out what we do want? Almost, yeah. I think I think we have found a pretty good. We got a pretty good idea. We're gonna know it when we see it, and we're gonna pull the trigger. Is the great thing. 
and we're ready. I think we're finally ready. But the Altima was the closest one. It's not what we thought. It's not any of the... It was the mental exercise of you going, let's make an offer. And her going, I've already called the broker. You were like, oh, we're doing this. And now it's like, that was scary. Okay, let's do it. Okay, we started on the Hatteras. I still absolutely love the Hatteras. But they're rough. If there was a new Hatteras. They're not rough. They need, they need work. The layout works great. No, they're the super affordable in the scheme of boats, but they need a lot of work. I'd still take the Hatteras over the Celine, over the Grand, well, Banks. Grand Banks, the DeFever, the, those three. So I would take that, but now that we've discovered kind of this in-between category of brands I don't know, but they're kind of shippy, kind of yachty, not camping. I think that's the biggest test. Do you feel like you're camping? It's hard on the Hatteras because if we put the money in, we could make it not feel like I'm camping, but it would take time and money. It's layers of an onion. You're gonna pull back a layer and you're gonna, oh. Dad, you, you wheeled this RV like it's a vehicle. I'm thinking of getting my CDL and being a long haul trucker. That's just dope. <laughs> Leaper cab? I'm thinking not. Okay, now part of our adventure is we are at my buddy, Sweet Pea's house, who I went to college with. How is it? Great. Show me. Whoa, look at that. How's the water? Cold? Yeah. That is what Rex has been waiting for this whole trip. <laughs> So what's the problem tonight's camp spot? Uh, there's no problem. It's just a challenge in that we're basically in the middle of a, we're halfway in a street. We were on supposed the wrong to be. Side. We were supposed to be in our buddy's driveway, and his driveway is smaller than our RV. That's gorgeous. We're going to JB's. At the alligator's bill. What are you polishing off there, buddy? Alligator. What are you, wait, what are you eating, Rex? Chicken. Will you use the plate? Yeah, I'll try some gator. Get that gator. You're so brave. Okay, you'll eat alligator, which is a giant reptile, but you won't eat a vegetable. Yeah. <laughs> Mom, you try it. Oh, I'm not trying it. Uh, yes, There's no are. way. Was that today? Mm -hmm. A sunset and a seagull and mm -hmm. waves and a rock. And props. What's that? Um, that's a wave crashing on the walk, that's some seaweed, and that's a sunset. That's fantastic, Rex. I love it. We have a new plan. What's our new plan? So we're at JB's Fish Camp, which, which we had a delicious dinner, and Rex awesome. crushed the alligator. And we said, or I said, crazy question. We're in an RV. Please stay here. And she goes, I don't know. It sounds like no problem. So she went and got the manager. Manager came out. Kenny. He was Kenny. awesome. Kenny like, at JB's. Yeah, sure. You just got to move over there. Well, that's perfect. You know what this RV trip has taught me, and I think that Loop will teach us, is that people are awesome. We've been in a pickle. 99% of people are. So we have been in a pickle every night of this trip. People are awesome. So, some people are worried that we're eating at restaurants. <laughs> are you worried that we're eating at this restaurant, Belle? No. There's nobody else here. But there is this. Trailer parking only. And then there's us. <laughs> <laughs> we are in JB's Fish Camp parking lot. And it's awesome, right? It is awesome. This is a Basil, Duck, Bunny, Monkey, Moo Moo, and Rex. <laughs>